This is lesson one for the NFL season. It's about the basic structure of the sports data query language. The SDQL is just a tool to provide agile access to sports data over the internet. It's fast, it's free. You can query almost any situation with the SDQL. Some, of course, can be very complicated. Most are relatively simple, and it does not take any kind of computer skill to run a query. You just have to know the basic structure of the SDQL, and it is the same for all sports. To get the results for a particular query, you need the query text box. So there's one at killersports.com. We're going to go there. This is the NFL query text box. You type the query in here, and then you hit the SDQL button. The query that we're going to take is the Packers as a home favorite. Very simple query. There's three conditions that must be met. First, we have to set the team to the Packers. The SDQL for that is team equals Packers. The second is that the team is at, is at home. The SDQL is the capital letter H. The third is that the team is the favorite. The SDQL for favorite is a capital F. To get the entire query, you string together the three conditions with the word AND. Team equals Packers AND, capital H, AND F. So what's going to happen is you're going to send this query to the remote servers. First, the computer is going to take all the games in which the Packers played. Then it's going to take all the games in which the Packers played at home. Then, of those, it's going to take the games in which the Packers were favorite. When all three conditions are met, it takes those games, creates a query output file, record summary, stat summary, game listing, and then sends it back to your computer all in less than a second. Let's try it. Team equals Packers and H and F. To send it, I'm going to hit the SDQL button right here. That's how long it took. We see the Packers are 162, 45, and 1 in database history, straight up. When they are a home favorite, 110, 94, and 4 against the spread, 110, 96, and 2. Over under, there are the teaser records. There's a stat summary. And here is the recent game listing, including the 2019 game. So that's the basic structure of the query language condition. The word and, condition, the word and, condition, and the word and, you can do as many as you want. The conditions actually have two parts, a game reference and a parameter, and that's going to be the subject of the next video. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your interest in the SDQL.